Hi guys, you aren't getting an introduction video tonight because you can probably hear from the sound of my voice that I've got this lovely flu going on. So my nose is snotty and gross and red raw from all the times I've rubbed it today. So we're just going to look at my pretty TTT instead. <laughs> so tonight we are going to start by finding the middle of your TTT. So you can do that by measuring. Or you can do that by folding it in half and just marking it. So that's what I've done. And then from the middle, we want to measure 1.5 centimeters in either direction, top and bottom, and then draw a line to join them up. Okay, so hopefully you can see there, I've got my center mark, 1.5 centimeters either side, and I've drawn a line down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to top stitch. We're going to do a rectangle. So we're going to go down one line, cut across just up here, probably about a centimetre above this line that you've sewn in the last top stitching, back up and then coming back across at about a centimetre from that one. And that's going to be where we're going to place our handle and it's going to divide our TTT into two separate halves. So that will be the bottom of this pocket and the bottom of this pocket here. So I'm going to top stitch mine from the inside, but you are just as welcome to putting your marks on the outside and top stitching it from the outside. All right, now that we have top stitched that rectangle there, you can kind of see it there and you'll sort of be able to see it on the back, but I've used a matching thread, so it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, that is where we're going to attach our handle later, but for now, we're just going to put that to the side. We're going to do our internal pocket. So the easiest way to do this is to measure 13 centimeters from the straight edge, so the edge with the corners. Rule a line down there and that's where your fold is going to be. So you want to fold both your lining fabric and your outer fabric. You want to fold them right sides together and you want that line to be your fold. I'm going to clip that in place and we're going to sew on both pieces down both of those straight edges. Okay, so this is my lining. I've sewn my two straight edges and I've left it the way it is. So this is my right side on the, the inside here and this is my outside. And then this is my outer piece and I have already turned it the right way out. So I sewed my two short edges and I've turned it the right way out. Now what we want to do is we want to take our outer and we want to place it inside our lining. Okay, so you can see that my outer is now inside my lining. You do want to pull that um, lining there so that it matches up with the edge of the outer and then clip that in place. And then what we want to do is we want to sew from here all the way around this edge and all the way back around to here. And we want to leave a three to five centimeter gap in the middle here. And that's going to be to turn our pocket out the right way. Okay, so I have sewn my pocket pieces together. I've left my turning gap and now I'm going to turn my pocket the right way. All right, so when you turn it, it's gonna look like that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna tuck this inside layer inside our outer layer. And once we push out all those corners and we get that nice, we're going to press that in place. And when we're pressing, we're just going to tuck those little bits at the openings, the little seam allowance there at the opening, we're just going to tuck that in and press that in place also. Okay, so once you've pressed it, what we want to do is we want to top stitch around this entire top edge. So when we do that, that will close that gap and we won't have to worry about that gap there anymore. So just going to top stitch around the entire top edge of your new pocket. Okay guys, I'm struggling a little bit tonight. Um, I have made this video about five times now. Uh, so we have finished top stitching around the top of our pocket and so you can see now when we fold that flap over that we've got our finished pocket. So we are going to put a snap on there but we're going to do that later when we do all of our other snaps. So I'm just going to put that to the side with our main nappy clutch and we're going to start on our handle. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this piece in half long ways and we're going to sew along this raw edge here. So we're going to leave a four centimeter gap in the middle for turning and we're going to sew all the way from that end to that end with a four centimeter gap in the middle. Okay, so once you have sewn along the raw edge, what you want to do is you want to press your seam open in the center. So you want to 
press it open so that it sits in the center. So I've only done half the strap. So you can see this, this half was sewn like this down the raw edge. And then this is what you want to do. You want to press your seam open in the center of the strap. So just pushing it open and pushing it down and then pressing it like that so that it's like that the whole way along. Okay, so once you have pressed your seam allowance open across the entire handle, you want to stitch across each of the short ends, which I've already done, and then you want to chop off half of your seam allowance on each of the short ends. So once you have chopped off half your seam allowance on each of the short ends, you want to turn your handle out the, the right way through that turning hole that we've left in the middle there. So push those sides up and out and get it out the right way and then you want to press it again. Okay, so once you have turned your handle, this is the top and this is the bottom. What we want to do is we want to top stitch around the handle twice. So we're going to do a larger rectangle around the outside of the handle. And then we're going to do a smaller rectangle inside that larger rectangle. Okay guys, so that's it for tonight. We are just about finished. We've got all of our pieces and so now all we need to do tomorrow night is install our snaps. So we've got our handle, we've got our interior pocket C, which is going to sit just here on our clutch. This is going to fold over here and be snapped in place. We're going to fold this shut and we will snap this in place just here. And then our handle will attach to this edge over here. So we'll be finishing that up tomorrow night and we'll also be making a quick easy change mat that will fit into this back pocket here so i'm really excited to be doing that and i'm really excited to get this finished so thank you all for joining in and i will talk to you again tomorrow night mm -hmm.